And the priest filing the lawsuit was removed from public ministry just months ago after what the Detroit Archdiocese deemed a credible allegation of sexual abuse. Father Edward Perone is claiming the woman who spoke out against him was never a victim. Germont Terry live downtown. Germont, the woman says this lawsuit is all about keeping her quiet. That's what she claims, Devin. Now, tonight, we know that this priest is removed as investigators look into allegations of sexual abuse. But the young lady claims she, too, was abused, just not sexually. And tonight, this priest, he is fighting back, demanding that this young lady stop defaming his name. When it comes to allegations of abuse within the Catholic Church, often it centers around then boys accusing priests of sexually violating them. But Mary Rose Maher claims she suffered abuse by her family's priest. Abuse can be emotional, it can be verbal, it can be physical, it can be sexual. And all of those things are abuse. I experienced physical abuse by being served alcohol. Maher says the alcohol came while she was an altar server at Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Parish on Gratiot near Seven Mile. It's the same church the Archdiocese of Detroit removed Father Edward Perone from this summer. He's accused of sexual abuse of a then underage boy. This started around the ages of 12 and went past 18. And at the time, I didn't know that was wrong. I thought it was a privilege. As an adult, she recently started speaking publicly on podcasts and online about the abuse she says she endured along with male altar servers. For me, this is all about exposing the truth. But a nine-page lawsuit filed against Maher by Father Perone claims defamation and invasion of privacy false light. The lawsuit claims her public tweets and posts were false and that she was not abused by Father Perone. Despite being under investigation by the Attorney General's office, the lawsuit claims in the current climate, all the allegations of abuse are considered credible and Maher is trying to jump on an erroneous bandwagon. I'm not afraid to stand up there to be an example for other survivors of clergy abuse that we are not going to be bullied and silenced about our experience, whether people think it's true or not. Now, Maher has, stands by her accounts and has reported them both to the AG's office and the Archdiocese of Detroit. As of tonight, Father Perone has not been charged with a crime. Reporting live, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Do we have any idea how much the priest is asking in this lawsuit, Jermont? Yeah, Devin, Father Perone, in that lawsuit, he is demanding a jury trial and is in looking for more than $25,000 in damages. Could be much more. Of course, that's the, the, the minimum standard set in that suit style. All right, Jermont.